In ancient times, humans worshipped the power of the sun, believing it to be a god that bestowed life-giving energy upon our world. But in the modern era, we have harnessed the power of the atom, unleashing a force that can level cities and change the course of history. Since the first nuclear test in 1945, humanity has witnessed the devastating effects of these weapons of mass destruction, with some of the most powerful explosions ever captured on camera. These awe-inspiring and terrifying events have left an indelible mark on our collective consciousness, and in this video, we will explore the eight most powerful nuclear explosions ever caught on camera. Number 8. The Tsar Bomba In 1961, at the height of the Cold War, the Soviet Union developed a weapon so powerful that it defied belief. The Tsar Bomba was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever created and detonated. Its hydrogen bomb carried a yield of 50 megatons of TNT, which is equivalent to 3,800 times the explosive power of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. To put it simply, this bomb was a monster. But the Tsar Bomba was too large to be delivered by conventional bombers, so a specially modified Tu-95 bomber was called upon for the task. On that fateful day, October 30th, the bomb was dropped from an altitude of 10,500 meters over the Novaya Zemlya archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. The bomb had a parachute to slow its descent, giving the bomber time to fly over 45 kilometers away before detonation. And then, it happened. The explosion was visible over 1,000 kilometers away and produced a fireball with a diameter of 8 kilometers. Can you imagine? That's like having a small sun suddenly appear in the sky. The blast wave was felt up to 1,000 kilometers away, and windows were shattered as far as 900 kilometers from the detonation site. The explosion created a mushroom cloud that rose to an altitude of 64 kilometers. The heat generated by the explosion was so intense that it could have caused third-degree burns up to 100 kilometers away from ground zero. It was a terrifying sight. The Tsar Bomba was designed as a deterrent weapon and was never intended for use in combat. Its sheer size was meant to demonstrate Soviet capabilities to the United States and other potential adversaries. The detonation of the Tsar Bomba remains the largest human-made explosion in history, and its effects on the environment and human health are still felt to this day. Number 7. Castle Bravo It was the dawn of the atomic age, and the United States was racing to develop the most powerful weapon ever seen. The Castle Bravo test was supposed to be a prowess, but it quickly turned into a nightmare. In March 1954, scientists at the Los Alamos National Laboratory designed a hydrogen bomb with a yield of 6 megatons. The bomb was intended to be a test of the United States' newest nuclear weapon. But due to a miscalculation of the amount of lithium-7 in the bomb's fuel, the test would become a catastrophic event. On March 1, 1954, the bomb was detonated on Bikini Atoll in the Pacific Ocean. The explosion was 2.5 times more powerful than expected, creating a fireball visible from over 400 kilometers away. The blast wave was felt as far as 2,500 kilometers away, and the mushroom cloud rose to an altitude of 40 kilometers. But the most devastating consequence of the Castle Bravo test was the radioactive fallout. The explosion released a huge amount of radioactive material into the atmosphere, contaminating the surrounding islands and causing acute radiation sickness in the nearby population. Over 200 people suffered from various degrees of radiation sickness, and the contaminated area was evacuated, leaving the residents to start new lives on other islands. The incident highlighted the catastrophic consequences of nuclear fallout and spurred the development of the first International Nuclear Test Ban Treaty in 1963. 
Number 6. B-41 Nuclear Bomb The B-41 was no ordinary bomb. It was the largest and most powerful nuclear bomb ever created by the United States. Developed during the Cold War, the B-41 was designed to take down heavily fortified targets like underground bunkers and missile silos. But here's the catch. This weapon was never used in combat. That's right, it remained in service for 15 years from 1961 to 1976 without ever being fired. Despite its sophisticated technology and incredible capabilities, the B-41's reliability and the risk of accidental detonation proved to be too much of a concern for the U.S. military. So what made this bomb so special? For starters, it had a yield of 25 megatons of TNT, making it more powerful than all the explosives used in World War II combined. And it wasn't just its size that was impressive. The B-41 incorporated multiple stages of nuclear fission and fusion and included a range of safety mechanisms to prevent accidental detonation. But even with all these impressive features, the B-41 is now just a symbol of the Cold War arms race and the quest for nuclear superiority. Its development and deployment were driven by the fears of Soviet aggression and the need to deter a nuclear attack. However, the bomb's legacy has lived on in the development of smaller, more precise nuclear weapons with lower yields. Number 5. Operation Crossroads Now, let's talk about the Operation Crossroads, the United States' first post-World War II nuclear test, and the first ever test to evaluate the effectiveness of nuclear weapons against naval vessels. The operation involved two detonations, each named Abel and Baker. The Abel test, conducted on July 1, 1946, was an airburst explosion of an atomic bomb, while the Baker test, conducted on July 25, 1946, was an underwater explosion of a thermonuclear bomb. And let's just say things didn't go as smoothly as the U.S. government had hoped. The Baker test, for example, created a massive underwater shockwave that lifted a column of water 1.5 kilometers high and caused a tidal wave that damaged or sank numerous naval vessels in the test area. To make matters worse, both tests produced significant amounts of radioactive fallout, contaminating the surrounding area and exposing U.S. military personnel to dangerous levels of radiation. Despite the controversy surrounding the tests at the time, the U.S. government defended the operation as necessary for national security and to maintain the country's nuclear superiority. However, the legacy of Operation Crossroads reminds us of the destructive potential of nuclear weapons and the need for continued efforts towards disarmament and non-proliferation. Number 4. Ivy Mike On November 1, 1952, the world changed forever. Ivy Mike, the first successful test of a thermonuclear weapon, was detonated on the remote Inuitak Atoll in the Pacific Ocean. The explosion was so powerful that it completely vaporized the island on which it was tested, leaving behind only a crater where the island once stood. The Ivy Mike bomb was a technological marvel, the largest ever tested at the time, with a yield of 10.4 megatons of TNT. The explosion created a fireball that was 5 miles wide and a mushroom cloud that reached a height of 130,000 feet. The sheer power of the bomb was awe-inspiring and terrifying all at the same time. Number 3. Soviet Test 219 Imagine being a scientist witnessing the world's largest nuclear test explosion ever conducted. Soviet Test 219 was a series of nuclear tests that took place in 1962 on the Novaya Zemlya archipelago in the Arctic Ocean. The tests involved detonating a thermonuclear bomb with a yield of 24.2 megatons of TNT, and the resulting explosion was so powerful that it caused a seismic shockwave that registered 5.0 on the Richter scale. The fireball was visible from hundreds of kilometers away, and the blast wave 
was so intense that it circled the Earth three times. Despite the catastrophic consequences of nuclear testing, the race for more powerful and efficient nuclear weapons continued during the Cold War. The Soviet Test 219 represented a significant milestone in the arms race between the US and the Soviet Union, highlighting the incredible destructive potential of nuclear weapons. Number 2. Tsar Bomba 2.0 Imagine a weapon so powerful that it could destroy an entire city with a single blast. That's the kind of destructive force that the concept of Tsar Bomba 2.0 is considering, with some experts suggesting a yield of 100 megatons or more. But is such a weapon necessary, or would it just increase the risk of catastrophic consequences in the event of use? The original Tsar Bomba, tested by the Soviet Union in 1961, had a yield of 50 megatons of TNT and was the most powerful nuclear weapon ever detonated. The idea of creating an even more powerful weapon, like Tsar Bomba 2.0, has been discussed as a deterrent against other countries with nuclear capabilities. But the potential environmental and human impacts of such a weapon would be immense. Critics argue that the development of Tsar Bomba 2.0 could contribute to an arms race between countries, further escalating tensions, and increasing the risk of nuclear conflict. The consequences of using such a weapon could be catastrophic, with widespread devastation and long-term health effects due to the radioactive fallout. While the idea of Tsar Bomba 2.0 may be intriguing to some, it raises important questions about the necessity of such powerful weapons and the risks they pose to humanity. Number 1. Trinity It was a hot summer day on July 16, 1945, and Alamogordo, New Mexico was about to witness history in the making. The Manhattan Project, a top-secret government program, was about to conduct a test that would change the course of human history forever. The codename for this test was Trinity, and it was the first time that a nuclear weapon had been successfully detonated. The scientists involved were nervous and excited, knowing that the test could potentially create an explosion with unimaginable power. At 5.29 a.m. the countdown began, and the bomb was detonated. The explosion was so bright that it illuminated the entire area, and the ground shook with a force that could be felt for miles. The heat generated by the explosion was so intense that it vaporized the tower that was used to hold the bomb. The Trinity test was a crucial step in the US's efforts to develop an atomic bomb during World War II. It paved the way for the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki later that year, which ultimately led to Japan's surrender and the end of the war. However, the Trinity test also had significant environmental and health impacts, as it produced a significant amount of radioactive rays that contaminated nearby areas and exposed military personnel to dangerous levels of radiation. The legacy of Trinity is mixed, as it represents both a major technological achievement and a significant humanitarian tragedy. The eight nuclear explosions discussed in this video represent some of the most powerful and significant nuclear events in history, from the devastating impact of Castle Bravo to the awe-inspiring display of Ivy Mike. These events have had a profound impact on the world and our understanding of nuclear weapons. While the development and use of nuclear weapons remains a controversial and contentious issue, these events serve as a reminder of the importance of understanding and respecting the power of these weapons. The potential for destruction and devastation that they represent is significant, and the consequences of their use could be catastrophic. This brings us to the end of this video. Remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos on the mysteries of the universe. See you next time.